Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us at the Market Site Studio in Times Square, New York City, we have Kevin McNulty, Head of Reg Tech Solutions at Equilend, to discuss the stock lending market and lenders and borrowers. It's great to have you with us, Kevin. Welcome to Trade Talks. Hi, Jill. Thank you for having me. You got it. And for those who don't know, what's the latest SEC 10C-1 proposal and who should be paying attention? Okay, so uh, we're talking about the exciting world of financial regulation here, Jill. Um, 10C1 is part of the SEC's very busy agenda. What it's designed to do is promote transparency for the securities lending marketplace um, by requiring lenders to report certain details of their transactions to, to the regulators. Um, in terms of who should be uh, you know, paying attention right now, it's all the major players in the securities lending market. That will be the institutional investors that lend securities to generate incremental returns pension funds, mutual funds, et cetera, and all the firms they engage with, like custodian banks, asset managers, crime brokers. What should people know about this proposal? Okay, so the first thing is we're expecting that there'll be a final rule sometime before the end of the year, between the fall and the end of the year. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is that if you're lending securities in the US, you're gonna have to start reporting your transactions to the SEC via FINRA. Okay, that's, that, that's the, the most important thing. Um, and in terms of what it's designed to do, it's designed to create some transparency for the marketplace as a whole. FINRA will be publishing certain details of the transactions to, to the public, but also the SEC are gonna be gathering this information for their oversight activities. The stock lending business is quite an interesting one. It can be quite expensive to trade, particularly if you're short and your stock gets halted. It's, you know, there is no consistency in, when it comes to stock lending. What has the market response been? Well, the first thing on that is that securities lending and borrowing is a, is a pure supply and demand business. Right. So, so the price is, is very dynamic. And we collect a lot of data and pr produce a lot of analytics on the securities lending market today. Give people an idea, because um, I know not everybody's familiar with this market. That on any one day, there'll be north of two and a half trillion dollars of securities on loan. So it's a fairly big, mm -hmm. fairly big business. What do firms need to do to prepare? Okay, so in terms of preparation, well, the final rule's not out there yet, so it's a bit limited as to what you can actually do, but I think we learned a lot of lessons from a similar regulation that was implemented in Europe three years ago. The first thing is it's, it's important to be super prepared to, to act quickly, right? So I think there's two things firms need to do. One is check to see whether you're likely to be covered by this thing, and if you are, make sure you understand what's in the proposal, right? Now, you can go to the SEC website, you can download the, uh, the proposed rule, uh, all 185 pages of it and read that. Welcome, welcome to my world, by the way. <laughs> um, the other thing I think firms should start to consider doing is to figure out how they might comply with this. And there's two broad sort of avenues. One is you figure out a way to do this reporting yourself, or secondly, you work with a, a specialist reporting agent. And so what's the purpose of it overall? I know they're looking to increase transparency. Will it make pricing more consistent across the board? Or to your point earlier, it really is supply in demand, or um, it just, it can be very expensive to trade on the short side. Yeah, so the, the genesis of this goes all the way back to the financial crisis, all right? So um, the global regulatory community said, well, look, we understand that this is an activity that provides a lot of good, good to the markets, right. provides liquidity, et cetera, but in fact, we don't know too much about it. So the driver for all of this was to create transparency for the regulators. What the SEC have done in more recent times is they said, we actually think that the market could benefit from having more transparency too. So that's the, the hence that they've kind of taken that initial objective, then added their own one just to provide a bit more transparency for everybody. All right, Kevin, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. And thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.